Hi, hello everyone. This is Mr. M from Algebra Lessons. In this video, we are discussing about codes and arcs of a circle. Before we proceed to the lesson or the uh, deeper side of the video, let me first define what you mean by a code. Okay. <clears throat> Suppose I have a circle and I have a line connecting two points of the circle. Name it as AB. We can name that AB, line segment AB, as the core of the circle. Suppose the center of the circle is C. So AB is a core of the circle center at C. Okay. Then you can ask a question Is diameter a chord? Yes, diameter is the longest chord of the circle. Okay. So now, <coughs> before we uh, move to statements, I have written already written here. Let me explain what you mean by an arc. Arc is the section of a circle. If you cut the piece from a circle, we can call it as arc this circumference part okay this is the r so we have we have chord we have chord a b we have chord a b and we have arc a b okay and one more thing if there is an angle subtended at the center of the circle if there is an angle if there is an angle subtended at the center of the circle we can name as the central angle central angle so this is this angle angle a b c angle a uh, c b is the central angle these are the three things you need to remember before you move to the uh, next section of this video so first one is chord and second one is arc third one is central angle central angle okay these are the three things chord arc and central angle <coughs> great now um you because you know now you know the definition of chord arc and central angle we are going to define some postulates first one is congruent central angles have congruent chords hmm, what is that Congruent central angle. You know what is congruent means? Congruent means equal. Congruent central angles. So let me draw a circle here for your reference. Sorry, that's a small circle. No problem. So congruent central angles. So if I have an angle here, if I have an angle here um, that is connecting these two points. This is one angle. I have another angle here. So, if this angle, this is angle 1, and this angle, this is angle 2, if angle 1 is congruent to angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then we can say that the length, the the line segment connecting these endpoints, let it be A, B, and let it be um, A, C, because the same point, so A, C, suppose C. So, A, B, A, B will be congruent to A, C. A, B will be congruent to A, C. You know why? Because the central angle is C. Because the central angles are congruent, the chords connecting, um, the endpoints will also be same. So that is the first rule. So um, you can um, practice the problems based on these statements. In the coming videos, we will have more practice problems that will make more sense of this statement. And what is the next statement? The next statement is congruent codes have congruent arcs. Okay, so let me draw a circle first. 
and it is saying that congruent chords i have a chord here i have another chord here okay i have another chord here this is pq this is mn two set of chords so congruent chords have congruent arcs so if pq pq is congruent to uh, m n if pq is congruent to m n then we can say that uh, arc pq arc pq will be congruent to arc m n the arc length the arc length of pq is congruent to arc length of m n when uh, uh, this chord pq is congruent to chord m n okay then the third statement is this uh, congruent arcs have congruent central angles congruent arcs have congruent central angle i need another circle for that congruent arcs have congruent central angle mm. um, suppose um, i have i have an arc here a to b and i have another arc here uh, c to d okay congruent arc so it is given that arc a b is congruent to arc c d okay if arc a b is congruent to arc c d then suppose the center of the circle is o angle c o d will be congruent to angle a o b okay let me connect it angle um, c angle c o d a angle c o d and angle a o b angle a o b angle a o b angle a o b so <coughs> these two angles are say this is what it is saying if you have uh, those two those two uh, arcs arc a b that means this arc length is same as arc c d then this central angles will be same now we can use uh, we can combine all these three statements first statement is congruent central angles have congruent chords so if this central angles are same we can say that this this chord length will also be same okay if these central angles are same we can say that this chord length will be same if these central angles are same we can say that this arc lengths are same if these arc lengths are same we can say that this um uh, this central angles are same or if these arc lengths are same we can say that this chord lengths are same so it is connected all these three statements are connected we will um, discuss problems related to these statements in the coming video so don't forget to watch the next video but before winding up we need to uh, discuss one important rule uh, based on um, the circles and chords so i have a circle with center o and i have two chords uh, one is this another one is this okay this is a b and this is p q the center of the circle is o let it be okay and it is given that the the line connecting the center of the circle to the chord is perpendicular to both chords so i have a perpendicular line here okay this is perpendicular okay so i have 
um, A, B, C, P, Q, R. Okay, so I have um, a circle with center O and uh, OC, OC is the line segment, is congruent to OR. OC is congruent to OR and um, OC, OC is perpendicular to AB, AB and OR, OR is perpendicular to PQ. So we have two line segments, OC and OR. Those are actually the line segment from the center of the circle to the chords. And we have two chords, AB and PQ. Then if the distance from the center of the circle to the chords are same, we are going to make uh, the statement, the first statements. Uh, the chords equidistant from the center are congruent. That means uh, AB will be a B will be congruent to PQ. A B will be congruent to PQ. Chords equidistant. Chords equidistant from the center are congruent. So, vice versa. Um, congruent chords are equidistant from the center. Congruent chords are equidistant from the center. That means if PQ, if PQ, PQ uh, is congruent to AB, we can say that OC will be congruent to OR. OC will be congruent to OR. So, this is an important rule. Um, we can use in many circle problems in geometry uh, classes. So, uh, make sure you understand these concepts before you uh, try uh, homeworks or classwork from your geometry circle session. Okay, and one final thing before I wind up this video, because we have the circle, the diameter, say for example, in the same picture, let me draw, the diameter, this is a diameter. I have a diameter. And if the diameter is perpendicular to a chord, if I have a diameter that is perpendicular to a chord, suppose I have a chord connecting these points. If, let it be M, if this diameter is perpendicular, if the diameter is perpendicular in the given question, it, uh, through the picture it is given that the diameter is perpendicular to the chord BQ, we can say that BM, BM is congruent to uh, MQ. The meaning is this, if the diameter is perpendicular to the chord, that diameter will bisect the chord, bisect the chord and it's R. So, you can say that um, BM will be congruent to MQ and let it be Z. Arc, arc BC will be congruent to arc um, ZQ. So, these are very important statements um, or, or postulates, very useful to uh, find solutions of um, the circle problems so wait for the problem part of the videos don't forget to watch share and subscribe my channel thank you